about uh, QuickSight. So QuickSight is the Amazon uh, BI solution, uh, business analytic solution. So it is similar to Tableau, which actually is the leading um, BI tools. Uh, so if you take my data visualization class, so we will talk about the Tableau in, in that class. Uh, so QuickSight is a cloud-powered BI service. So uh, different from Tableau, that um, they, we don't have, we don't, we don't need to install QuickSight on our local computer. So everything we uh, we need is just a browser, and we connect to AWS, and we can use QuickSight. So it's it's easy to scale to your users. So if you have a lot of users, um, you don't need to worry about. Um, the scales because uh, QuickSight is cloud-based, so that and also Amazon will do the scaling for you. Um, they said it is one tenth of the cost of the um, traditional BI solutions. Uh, so uh, in this class, so we are using the educator credits. So uh, for each user, uh, the QuickSight will cost about. Uh, actually, I'm not sure. Seven dollars per month. Okay, so that's the price that we need uh, for each single user. So seven dollars per month. Um, uh, it also you can also share your data, and um, and also you can collaborate with your colleagues. Uh, you can also integrate with other um, BI solutions. Uh, so one of them is a Tableau. Um, they provide interactive visual dashboard. Okay, uh, so some features of the quick site. So one thing that I really like is called autobra. So that means that when you have the data that with different fields, so depending on which field or fields that you selected, uh, quick site will create visualizations automatically. Okay, so they will detect the type of data and also they will try to provide the best visualization for you. Okay, of course, you can customize your selections, um, but in, my, in most cases, QuickSight did, did a pretty good job. Okay, so that is the autograph, and we all see those features in our lab. Integration. Uh, so because it is hosted by Amazon AWS, so it, they can easily use data that you start in on RDS, Redshift, which is data warehouse, S3, which is a solution for data lake, a signal, which we'll talk later. Uh, you can also bring data from other uh, resources like PostgreSQL, MySQL, etc. They provide a very fast data engine, calculation engine called SPICY. So super fast parallel in memory of um, optimized calculation engine. So what does that mean? So basically, when you have your data from like your database, and if you import that one to QuickSight, okay. So what you can do is that you can load the data to this spicy, spicy first, and the next. You can load, you can use QuickSight to query data in the spicy directly. So because that is in memory or optimized, so that will be faster than if you query the data from your database directly. Okay, so that is another way. Uh, so if you have some data set that you need to make queries, or you if you need to run some very complicated calculations, and you may consider bring the database to the bring the data to the spicy first, and then you can make queries from the spicy directly. However, spicy is not free, okay? <laughs> so when you load data into the spicy, so you need to, to pay the usage of the spicy. So you can always use query data from your data source directly. So that is always an option. Um, you can create dashboards, Storyboards of create analysis. So on QuickSight, uh, when you load the data, you can create different visualizations, 
And once you have those visualizations, you can share, you can combine multiple visualizations as a dashboard. Okay, which you can provide filters and also enable filters. So that can be an interactive visualization. Or you can create a storyboard. So this is very similar to Tableau. So on Tableau, you can create a single sheet. And then from sheet, you can create dashboards or you can create story. So story, storyboard is focused on uh, provide you a guided tour of your data so that it uh, it is more like uh, a presentation or more like a PowerPoint so that you capture the snapshot of that of the specific um, uh, visualization and you combine those snapshots together to create the storyboard so that the users can, um, can understand your story easier. Okay, uh, so no matter you are using analysis, dashboard, or storyboard, your audience can build those visualizations on any devices, like they can use that, they can visualize on cell phones, um, on, tab, on, on desktop, laptop, etc. Or just open a, a browser. Okay, so they can. It's it's very easy to you to view those visualizations. Okay, so in today's lab, we will use QuickSight to explore data to explore data from a relational database. So we are seeing that how we can create interactive visualizations by using QuickSight.